Okay, this video is going to be on inversing a selection and also feathering a selection. A feather creates a very soft edge, semi-transparent selection. To do that, I need to select one of my selection tools and I'm going to pick the marquee selection tool. And at the top here, you've got an area where you have to put a value in for the feather. Keep in mind that I have the rectangular selection tool because that's going to become important in a second. And I'm going to add a feather. Maybe I'll do 30. I'm going to come into my photo and pull out a selection. I can visually tell it's a feather because it rounded the corners. Now, if I, I got a lock here. Let me unlock that layer. Now, if I copy these pixels and paste them, if I turn the eyeball off this one, I can see now that I've got a soft edge or a semi-transparent edge on that selection. Let me turn this back on. Let me delete this layer and do it again. This time I will use the elliptical. I'm going to put a feather this time of 40. I'm going to pull out a circle by pulling this tool out and holding my shift key. And now I've got a circle. Okay. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the delete key. Boom. Now I get a soft edge that way. I'm going to, again, that's feather. You have to be careful of feather because this is kind of a sticky setting. Sometimes you've got a feather stuck in here and you're trying to make a selection like, oh, I've got a feather in there. So you have to make sure that the value is zero if you don't want it to be a feather. Uh, feathering uh, can be done with all the selection tools. Okay, I'm back to the flower photo. This time I want to inverse the selection. Right now I've got the flowers selected, but I want to select the background. To do that, it's very easy. All you need to do is go to the Select tool and Inverse. Now the flowers aren't selected, but rather the background. And I can do anything with the selection that I normally do, like I could delete the background. Okay, let me do that again with this photo. Again, I'll make a selection. I'll use the elliptical marquee tool and I'm going to pull out a circle. Okay, now I've got this area selected or targeted and I want to select this area. So all I need to do is to go select inverse and I can select the background and then I have just the object that I had to inverse the selection from. Now again you'd want to inverse the selection if you feel it's easier to grab the background and inverse the selection to actually select the object. And that's all going to depend on the photos that you're dealing with and you know the differences between the object and the background. 